Hi everybody. Uh, sorry you caught me texting my wife here. And uh, it's day 21, uh, 31 days on how to radically change your prayer life. She should be getting back to me any moment now. I'm expecting her to answer me. And today that's what we're talking about. We're talking about praying with the expectancy that God will answer you. You know, God said in Jeremiah 33, 3, he said, call unto me and I will answer thee and show you great and hidden things you know not. Glory to God. Ian Bounds said that the purpose of prayer is the ear of God. God hearing what you're asking for. It's so important that we understand God does answer our prayer when we pray according to his word or we pray in faith. Glory to God. We have a prayer answering God. When we approach God on the basis of our covenant with him through the shed blood of Jesus Christ, when we come to God according to his word, he answers our prayer. You know, I grew up in a denomination that used to teach God answers prayers three ways. Sometimes yes, sometimes no, and sometimes maybe. Yet I find in the word of God that God said he answers our prayers this way, yea and amen. And literally translated, it means God says yes to our prayer and our amen or our saying, so be it, acknowledges its truth to the glory of God in us. You can find that in the Weymouth translation. God does answer prayer. So what are we going to do? We're going to pray with an expectancy that God answers our prayer. Glory be to God. So join us tomorrow for day 22 on 31 days on how to radically change your prayer life. And until then, pray expecting God to answer your prayer. Now, I got to get my text message because it just came back. And we'll see you tomorrow.